Well, across the tri-state, school administrators need to fill dozens of teacher positions as the new school year looms. In western Illinois alone, more than 30 spots are still open. And WGEM's Dylan Smith was in several school districts today. So, Dylan, how are schools managing? Well, Mackenzie, there has been a shortage for the past several years now, and that's why some school district administrators say they're thinking outside the box. There's actually a lot of optimism that three weeks from now, there won't be a problem. The classrooms are empty. The hallways are empty. But a few weeks from now, when the students are back, how many classrooms will still need teachers? We were always able to get a certified teacher into the classroom. In Macomb, that used to be the case. Superintendent Patrick Toomey says this year it's well, taken a full 180. It's easy for people to say, well, I went to school, therefore... I know how to be a teacher. Finding certified staff has become a challenge. Fewer are interested in the profession. According to a study by the Rand Corporation, more than 10% of all teachers in the U.S. each year choose to leave the industry. Toomey says schools have become the social service agencies of the community and it's made things harder for teachers. The complexity that now comes uh, with being a teacher is just far, far greater than it used to be. An hour south, it's the same situation. The Quincy Public Schools personnel director says they've changed the way they hire educators. We're hiring early. Um, sometimes we're hiring even two and three years early to make sure that we're securing great candidates for our positions. But they're not only after college students. We are advocating and um, contacting people who are interested in education and te becoming teachers as maybe a second career. Today, QPS welcomed several new teachers to the district. They started the summer needing around 30. Now they need 10. Both Toomey and Otten say they're confident when school time comes, there won't be a problem. If we do not fill them as we will fill them with subs or make an internal plan within a building. And Macomb Toomey says if they can't fill a spot, they'll also use long-term subs. He says the district hires long-term subs ahead of time, so there isn't an issue during the school year. Mackenzie? Okay, thank you, Dylan. Earlier this year, a survey from the Illinois Association of Regional Superintendents found nearly 80% of all Illinois schools had a shortage. More than 90% report it was worse this past school year than the year before.